On the sprawling campus of Northwestern University, down a long corridor in the school's Technological Institute, Josiah Hester is practicing safe social distancing in a mobile computing lab. He is part of a small engineering team developing technology to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now we're working on what we call smart PPE, uh, so smart personal protective equipment. You can think of this as uh, face masks with tiny sensors in them uh, to detect all kinds of things from um, symptoms of COVID to fatigue to even uh, does this mask fit on my face? Am I wearing it properly? Hester's challenge is engineering the sensor to run without a battery and to reduce cost while creating something that doesn't yet exist and mass producing it in months, not years. Once we engineered enough where uh, it could be deployed in a very large batch, the you know, economies of scale would bring this way down. Because basically once we throw away this battery, uh, which is one of the really hard parts to minimize cost at scale, uh, the, it's just you know, building a, a really tiny computer. On the other side of the Technological Institute, biomedical engineering professor John Rogers isn't just leading a team innovating wearable sensors, <laughs> manufacturing them right in his lab on Northwestern's campus. And the devices that we develop, uh, you know, have physical form factors very similar to those of a Band-Aid. So we can really place them on any part of the anatomy. We're not constrained to the wrist. And I have one of the devices on right now. So it sits at the base of the neck, right, uh, you know, above the collarbone. And we initially developed this device to measure speech and swallowing activity in stroke survivors. As concern over exposure mounted in the healthcare community, Rogers and his team adapted the device to meet the challenges of the moment. Perhaps this system could be tailored to monitor the key respiratory symptoms associated with COVID-19, which are shortness of breath and coughing. <coughs> in under three weeks, his team modified the device and deployed them in two Chicago area medical facilities, where they collect data analyzed by machine learning algorithms geared towards monitoring COVID-19 symptoms. Rogers says demand for the device is growing. We're in a number of different conversations with companies who want to deploy these devices on their employees so they can sort of track their employee health. Which presents the next set of challenges, ramping up production. But we also have spin-out companies that, that serve as a vehicle for sort of a, a broader commercially oriented deployment that allows us to hit levels of scale that we just can't support with philanthropy and foundations and uh, federal research grants. As he works to reduce the size of his PPE sensor, Josiah Hester is aware of the impact of his work on monitoring the virus and saving lives. The scientific challenge and the scientific impact that you can have is definitely turning this into something that could be a moonshot. You know, no matter what, we'll end up with a lot of science that could be helpful uh, later on in kind of building these types of uh, protective devices. Devices which could further spin off new technology and applications that could have a lasting benefit beyond the healthcare sector well after the COVID-19 pandemic ends. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois. <coughs> <coughs>